crowd tension as Sunday Igbo arrives court for commencement of trial. Yoruba Nation chief campaigner Chief Sunday Adeyemo, also known as Sunday Igbo, has arrived Ko de Apao de Kotonu ahead of his arraignment by the authorities of Benin Republic for immigration related offenses, according to reports. One of the reports by our reporters quoted an unnamed source as disclosing that Igbo may be arraigned for passport related offenses. Added, his Nigerian lawyer are here already. Yoruba leaders in the Benin Republic have been supportive as well. Another report by the nation said that hordes of Igbo supporters arrived at the court premises hours ahead of the commencement of proceedings, which are yet to start at the time of this report. Benin had accused Igbo who was arrested at Cardinal Bernardin International Airport, Kotonou, with his wife on their way to Germany on Monday night. Meanwhile, Igboho spokesperson Olayomi Koiki, in a live update on early Thursday, sounded confidence that the trial would go in favor of his principal. He said, I can confirm he will have the opportunity to be heard at the Benin Republic Court. They respect international law. It will be heard today by God's grace. The court will determine the fate of the extradition and will also have the opportunity to present our case, especially on the personality of Igboho. We know the magnitude of what the Nigerian government is trying to do if they try to get hold of Igboho, but they will fail by God's grace. Their intention was to capture him but God fought for him, he said. Igboho was declared wanted by Nigerian secret police. The Department of State Services DSS earlier in July after his Ibadan house in Oyo State was raided on July 1st, 2021 by the operatives of the secret police. Um, you see, one very big mistake that President Momo Buhari is doing and is still doing is that mistake of going after separatist leaders. Yes, that's a very big mistake that he is doing, but he doesn't know. He doesn't know. You see, these people that he is trying to trap are people that will bring him to book. Um, a friend of mine once told me that, do you know why Bori is going after these people? I said no. He said, Bori is going after separatist leaders because he knows that his, um, his tenor will soon come to an end. And since his tenor will, come to, uh, will soon come to an end, he also knows that he has not been meeting up and he has not been measurable in terms of service as president of this country. So he is afraid of being trapped by this, uh, uh, by, by, by this separatist. So what he's now doing is going about trying to trap those who, whom he believe are, will, will be the one to trap him, will be the one to trap him down after his, um, after, after, after his tenure. <laughs> Mr. President, I know you have a lot of experience, most especially when you were one time a military leader, but that is not the best step to take. This is happening because, because you have refused to give the truth a chance. This is happening because you have chosen to be someone that is completely out of of you know democratic system the attitude you are putting up or the style of leadership you are putting up here in nigeria and i'll tell you is a complete military system i'm telling you the truth we are not in a we are not in any democratic system of government my dear viewers anyone telling you that this is a democratic system of government the person is just making mockery of you someone ruling you with autocracy 
someone ruling you with personal decision he doesn't welcome your opinion whenever he sees you going out to protest against injustice he go after you come on such person can such uh, uh, person cannot be seen ruling with democratic power it is a complete autocracy do you understand so president mobori is making a very big mistake by coming coming up with such a style of leadership because it doesn't pose any good thing to the public instead what it passes is criticism you understand now criticism abuse of power you know and what have you so um based on sunday ibohu's um hearing in the court um i would like to make reference to what wale shoinka said before um the the arrest of sunday Ibo. i see wale shoinka have knew have knew it I've, I've knew that this will definitely come come to play he told nigerian government that be lucky that someone like sunday Igbo who has not been arrested because definitely you people would have been embarrassed as if wole shoinka knew it that definitely sunday Igbo who will be arrested he now he made a reference to that he never knew that sunday Igbo who will be arrested he said it a day to his arrest i'm telling you he told the federal government that what are you going to say is the offense of sunday Igbo who? What are you going to say? You people at fault. It's the same you people that invaded his home, get his home destabilized, destroyed. Dest you, de you destroyed his home. You stole most of his valuables. What didn't you people do? You did a lot of things. And you are still taking the same person to court. It is this administration that will bring the, the downfall of Nigerian, of Nigerian government. It has also it has it has started already. Nigerian has been reduced to nothing. Nigerian that it used to be the giant of African has turned to to a a a, a, a belated and no and, and and a country that is known for nothing in the world. Look at the title Nigerian is is receiving. 